Okay, y'all, so I'm here. Everyone has been asking me to do a video. People have been saying, can you give us a makeup tutorial? Can you give me a one-on-one -on -one tutorial? Would you ever go live while you're doing your makeup? Would you ever record yourself doing your makeup? Can you teach me this, that, X, Y, Z? People have been asking me so many questions about what kind of makeup I wear, what is my skincare routine, blah, blah, blah. So then I had this tweet. Um, got a couple of retweets and likes. And so a lot of people had two main questions that they were asking me. They were asking me about my suit that I wore on my graduation pictures. And then they were asking me about my makeup routine. And so I'm here today to tell you that not only do I have the brand who made the suit that I wore in my graduation pictures, but I also have a code for you guys. And so um, if you go to this brand the name of the brand is Olita and Company it's a Canadian brand small brand but you guys the stuff is quality I stumbled upon it when I was looking for things to wear for graduation pictures um because I knew I wanted like an abstract art suit I kind of had the look in mind but I didn't know exactly where to find it so I got on Google you know what I'm saying and coincidentally they she has really nice stuff on the website like there's some quality looks on there things that you won't find on other instagram boutiques you know how a lot of these instagram boutiques they all have the same pieces and it's basically like okay well let me see who has the cheapest one you know and so no she has a lot of unique pieces a lot of quality pieces and not only am i giving you guys the brand i also have a code for you guys so if you use my code Allie. You can get 10% off your entire order, no matter what you order, suit included. If you order the suit plus some more pieces, you get 10% off your entire order if you use the code Allie. And so those of you who came to see me do my makeup and want to see how I achieved this look, if you want to see how I achieved this look, just stick around and I'll show you guys from start to finish how I got this look. And if you're wondering about the ponytail, of course, hair salons are not essential businesses, so they're closed right now. I had to DIY this ponytail myself, so hopefully it doesn't look too makeshift, you know. Hopefully it's okay. Giving Ariana Grande very much, you know. So, yeah. Um, if you want to see how I got this look, stick around. I already have brow gel on and i filled them in a little bit so now what i'm going to do is um clean them up with some concealer i'm gonna take the mac pro longwear concealer in the shade nw40 What I'm going to take next is this Morphe M173 brush and I'm going to blend that out. And as y'all can see, this um, concealer color, um, the Prolong Wear Concealer color, is definitely not my color. I um, I conceal too highlight and so I'm definitely, I, my concealer colors are like two shades lighter than my foundation color because I want it to highlight and conceal. A lot of people were asking me like about the makeup look that was in the grad picture. I don't know exactly what I did when I um, did my makeup for the grad shoot. Just like pretty much nudes on me, nudes and neutrals 
on me um no shimmers nothing like that so that's what i'm gonna try to recreate today and as y'all can see i didn't blend out all the way my um concealer underneath my brow but that'll all come together later on okay so what i am gonna take is some more of the um mac pro Longwear, and i'm going to just base my eyes with it I'm gonna take that same Morphe M173 brush and I'm gonna just blend that out. Okay, now, and if you can see, I really didn't like pay attention to boundaries. I kind of just base my whole eye and because i am dark skin i do have like some hyperpigmentation like i have darker eyes and like around my mouth it's a little bit darker you know and so i try to color correct a little with my eyeshadow basing and so i just concealed kind of all around the eye but like i said it'll all come together and i know some of y'all are probably like dang you doing eyes first yes this is the eyes first household okay brows first then eyes then face okay that's how it all does a one two you know what i'm saying so next i'm gonna take this morphe i don't even know oh 35v morphe 35v palette and i'm going to use like the neutral browns um that they have on here i think I'm probably gonna use like this color for like my crease and then this for my lid but i probably use credit in the jackie Anna palette we'll see we'll see because i'm not sure what i did exactly that day but we're gonna try to get close to it okay so let's see And so pay attention to how like when I'm blending, I'm not just staying directly in the crease. I'm kind of sweeping it right under the brow because like I said, I use my concealer to highlight and to conceal. And so you don't want to be the girl with the bright brows. You know what I'm saying? And we all might have been that girl at a certain point in time, but we try to grow, you know? So what we want to do is kind of make sure we blend that crease color up so we're not looking so next i'm going to use probably these two probably like a mix of these two just going back and forth like that and put that on the lid Okay, so I'm gonna just go back over my crease a little because I am, I feel like it needs to just all be blended kind of in that crease area. Nothing too crazy, nothing too rough. And so because I am darker, I can get away with the darker crease tones. It doesn't look as nighttime look on me. Um, Next, I'm gonna add some winged eyeliner because are you really even bad if you don't have winged eyeliner? You know what I'm saying? Are you really even, are you really even popping if you don't have a wing? You know? So I'm gonna take some NYX. Y'all, NYX, when I tell you, I don't use any other kind of liquid liner. Yeah. just like that you don't transform 
Okay, and so next we're gonna add lashes because just like a wing, are you really even bad if you don't have lashes? Yesterday, I went to Walmart, cause y'all know, pandemic, can't go to the hair store, can't go to the mall. I went to Walmart and got me some lashes because I had none, but I knew I needed some to do this video. Picked up some Kiss lashes and some Ardell lashes, both with these. And I'm like, hold up, what's tea? Because I did not know Walmart sold Wispies. You know what I'm saying? Ardell and Kiss. Hold up, let me find out Walmart really an essential business, you know? Like, who knew? Who knew it was holding out? Because I didn't know that Walmart sold Wispies. I thought they always sold the little, you know, the lashes. It's just, but y'all, we gonna see how these look. So I know there's a lot of controversy about what type of lash glue to use, you know, and how hair glue isn't lash glue. But I'm here to tell you, hair glue is lash glue. To get into it. I don't know which ones look better. That's why I got the both of them. I think I'm gonna go with Ardell because Ardell's a little more, hmm, a little more fancy, you know. Also, I'm gonna put on some mascara on the top of my lash before I add my lashes on. This is just a little better than six sample that I got last time I went to Ulta. Okay, hold up. Hold up, Ardell. Hold up, Ardell. Hold up. Do tell, Ardell. Let's see. I'm not mad at it. I'm definitely not mad at it. The Ardell lashes are eating, really. You know, look how they ate that. Well, look how she ate that. Don't y'all like the way lashes just kind of zhuzh up a look? Okay, so next what we're gonna do is just add some more mascara. Okay, so next we're gonna go on to the face. So I have moisturized my face. Um, next, I'm gonna go into foundation. I can't remember which foundation I had on on the day of the photo shoot, but by the look of the picture, I'm gonna say that I had my Born This Way foundation on and I'm in the shade Tiramisu. And y'all, honestly, I can honestly say if we're talking about foundations that really look like nothing, like look like skin, they weren't lying when they said undetectable, okay? I do wear glasses I kind of have like a like a permanent tan line on my nose um, but I won't be putting my glasses on in this video so y'all can get the full beat experience and then another thing too y'all since I'm a dark skin girl I blend down my neck because I match to my chest not my neck So I'm going to take my, um, my Pro Longwear yet again, tried and true, and I'm just going to conceal my T-zone area. 
can feel my T-zone and my under eye. Okay, and so because I am doing like a, a natural look, I'm gonna take some of my concealer. I mean, I'm gonna take some of my foundation, excuse me, and kind of blend that in with my concealer because I don't want it to be too, too bright. I want it to get the job done, but not be too runway. So I'm gonna warm that up a little bit okay so next i'm gonna take this morphe m536 brush and i'm gonna blend that out Now that that's done, I'm going to add a little, and when I say a little, I mean a little bit of setting powder underneath my eye because I don't want it to crease too, too bad. I don't really get like smile lines or anything like that. The setting powder that I'm using is the Beauty Bakery Flower. That's so cute. The Beauty Bakery Flower in the color Almond. And I'm not going to add too much because I don't want to get that orangey tone because this is kind of a warm setting powder for me I um I'm kind of like I have cooler undertones but kind of golden so I don't want to use too 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 much um so just enough to where it's not gonna crease Okay, and so next I'm going to use um, some eyeliner to kind of brighten up my eye a little bit. And the eyeliner that I'm using is the NARS, what's it called? High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner. Eyeliner. <laughs> Long, what am I trying to say? NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner. Okay, so the second to last step is my highlight, and then I'm gonna put a lip on, okay? I think because of the way I conceal and highlight, it kind of brings out the shadows in my face already. Um, but when I do feel contoury, I use Fashion Fair, you guys. And I know y'all probably like, girl, who auntie are you using Fashion Fair? But it's honestly, I haven't found like either a cream or a powder contour shade that I feel like really gives me a nice dark contour but it's not ashy i i haven't i genuinely have not and so if y'all have my fellow dark skin my fellow brownies if y'all have really found one that y'all think might would suit me i don't know any brands i mean juvia's place i've heard but every stick that i've got from juvia's place has not been dark enough it always is like a foundation stick or a concealer stick for me and so i don't know so anyway i'm gonna take this nars kabuki brush okay and then so last but not least i'm going to line my lips um i'm gonna line my lips and put some lipstick on and that'll be the final look y'all
Revlon Primrose, y'all. This is like my go-to pink. I have a lot of products that I just do not stray from, and I know that's not very, I don't know. It's not very becoming to just hold on to products, but y'all, they never do me wrong. the final look um i don't have any setting spray on me so we'll just do that another day um and i didn't highlight as you can see i didn't highlight my cheekbone areas because i'm not really like a i used to be that girl but i'm not that girl anymore because what um if you like this video like it comment tell me you know what you might do that i do different or some things that you can suggest or you know tell me why you like me and subscribe subscribe to my channel because depending on how this goes if it goes well i might be back i might be back with another you feel me so i should be a pose coach okay